Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you some image editor tools for the vector mode. So, you know you're in vector mode when you've got all these different tools right here, and it says convert to bitmap. So, vector mode is really cool. Um, it allows you to actually have a lot of control over the design of the character. So for instance, with this select tool, I can select Scratch's eye and be like, hmm, I want the eye over here, or maybe up here, or maybe I want to copy the eye and then paste the eye. So now Scratch Cat has three eyes. Cool. Now this next tool right here, it uh, allows you to actually go and select anything that has already been drawn and you can reshape it. So if like, okay, I want the mouth to make it look like Scratch Cat is surprised because Scratch Cat has three eyes. You can do that. Now, another cool uh, thing that you can do is when you select a node, you can switch between a curved end like this. So now he's got a curved ear or when you click on the node, you can switch it to a pointed mode. So that way it gives it a point um, for the tip. So some cool things you can do with that. Uh, so this one, this tool allows you to draw. So you can paint on it here. You can change the size of your paintbrush. So if you want it to be an extra large paintbrush, you could do that. And um, it's similar tools for the uh, shapes that are down here. So like a line or the ellipse or circle, and then for the rectangle. Now, when you're doing this, you have some different options for making your outline a different color than uh, the inside of it. So now my outline is that uh, color. Now, if you don't like something that you created with uh, any of these tools, you can actually use the eraser and just go through and be like, okay, I want to erase this, and then it will uh, get rid of that. Now, you can change the size of your eraser, just like other stuff, so you can make it smaller. You can zoom in and be like, hmm, I don't really like this part right here, so I'm gonna erase it. And now Scratch Cat has a hole in his chest. Okay, so it's a holy Scratch Cat. Okay, so the next one, uh, we can use a uh, paint bucket and we can fill with whatever color we want. Now, what's really neat about this is there's many different tools inside of here. So instead of making this a solid color, I could have it blend between two colors using this mode right here. So if I want it to blend between these two, it's going to make it so that it switches from the left to the right. This tool will make it switch between the two colors up and down, and this tool will make it switch between the center of where my mouse is to the edge. And you can actually swap these colors out. So if you're like, I like this, but I want it to be a different color where it's swapped, you can do that and you can change to whatever two colors you want. So really cool um, color features with that. Now, one of my favorite things about uh, using the vector mode is the text. So in the text, if I'm typing and I'm writing out something like, um, if I click, I can change the size of this. I can change the font of this. So I can make it like a marker. And once I go and I'm start working on some other stuff, I can actually go back to this and be like, oh, I totally misspelled It's supposed to be like that, whatever. So vector mode is excellent for being able to uh, add in some text and edit it just in case you happen to misspell things like I do all the time. Okay, let me show you a couple more things with vector mode. So uh, one of the things when you have the select tool, you can actually highlight stuff and select multiple things and then be like, okay, I want to group this together so that way I can move the whole thing over. Or you can ungroup stuff and be like, okay, I want this to be different parts so I can just move this part of Scratch Cat with this part and basically rearrange Scratch Cat's body so now this is the new Scratch Cat. And uh, you can actually move this so that they go in the front. So uh, now the... Uh, leg, whatever the new body part is, is in the front, or you can put it in the back like this by switching between front and back, etc. And you can flip it so that it faces different directions or flips upside down entirely using those buttons. So now I have a really interesting looking alien scratch cat titled so those are all the different tools for the vector mode. Uh, have fun experimenting with this. And remember, if you make a mistake, just go back and hit the undo and you can reset whatever it is that you just messed up on. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.